Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a physical therapist here at Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Rockville. So today we're going to be talking about a technique called diaphragmatic breathing. And that's something that a lot of us probably have not heard of, which is okay. Um, so when most of us breathe, we use what's called our accessory muscles to breathe. So that's our upper chest muscles, some of our neck muscles, and that's actually not the most efficient or effective way to breathe. What we should be using is a big powerful muscle called our diaphragm that sits in our chest cavity. So the diaphragm is a dome-shaped muscle. Um, when we inspire, it flattens out and descends to make room for air to fill our lungs. And then when we breathe out, it comes back up. So there are a lot of benefits to diaphragmatic breathing. Um, it lets us really open the airways and keep the airways open. It lets us oxygenate our lungs much better. Um, and it's overall just a more efficient and effective way to breathe. The other thing that's great about diaphragmatic breathing is that it's an excellent relaxation and stress reduction technique. And that's something that a lot of us um, can probably benefit from right now. So today I'm gonna to show you how to practice diaphragmatic breathing. Um, the best position to learn this technique in is lying flat on your back. Now, if you have a condition that prevents you from lying flat, whether it's a heart condition, um, back pain, issues with dizziness, by all means, you can definitely try this in a reclined position. You can try it sitting up, you can even try it standing, but usually the best position to learn it in is lying down. And you don't have to be all the way flat. If you wanna bend your knees up for comfort, you can definitely do that. And what I'm gonna do is put one hand on my upper chest. I'm gonna put one hand kind of over my belly, over my upper abdomen. So that's right where our diaphragm sits. So as you're lying here, you can go ahead and experiment with taking some deep breaths. And I want you to see which hand rises more. For a lot of us, when we take a deep breath, that top hand is gonna rise more. So my top hand rose more. That means I'm using a lot of those accessory muscles to breathe, those chest muscles, the neck muscles. That's not what we want. So what you wanna do is focus on filling up that bottom hand. So what you want to do is make that bottom hand rise more. So if you notice, my top hand is staying relatively still. My bottom hand is what's coming up. So that's what you want to do. You want to focus on keeping the top hand nice and still and let that belly fill your bottom hand. So you wanna just kind of see what works best for you. What you can do is breathe in through your nose for a count of two, hold your breath, pause for a second or two, then you're gonna breathe out through your mouth through pursed lips for a count of four. So this is a really nice relaxation technique. What you can do once you kind of get the hang of it, and it might take really a minute or two to coordinate this, you can kind of dim the lights, close your eyes, um, you know, really relax, focus on filling up that bottom hand, use your diaphragm to breathe. All right. So that's a technique that you can use um, for a little bit of stress reduction, a little bit of relaxation. It's also something that you can do to help kind of fill your lungs and breathe a little bit more efficiently. So definitely give that a try and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out and we'd be more than happy to answer them for you.